Alright guys, I made it to Memory Den where you have to find person where you have to show thing in ting and ting. I had to get past a few su super mutants. I had shot every single one of them. Brains blew out. That was fun. I just had like personal pleasure. Well, well. Mr. Valentine, I thought you had forgotten Nick, let's go talk to Amari. Okay. Well, guys, remember in the last few videos I um done brother to steal stuff. Yes. I take it this isn't a social call. Well, no shit, Sherlock. We need your help, Doctor. I need the memories from a man named Kellogg. But he's dead. I know it's asking for a miracle, Omari. But you've pulled off the impossible before. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse. You don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Please. This dead brain. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is. Wait. That's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Ah, those that circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Go on, Doctor. Mr. Valentine is an older generation synth. But Institute technology being what it is, the brain implant could fit him. But that's an incredible risk to take. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't worry about me, Amari. I'm well past the warranty date anyway. I appreciate this, Nick. You can thank me when we've found your son. All right, let's do this. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine, just sit down. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see here. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the impact. Tell me you have a way past this, Doc. Let me think. The encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. Let's do it. Let's get started. Just sit down over there. Here's a thing. See you on the other side. I guess, um... From a sponsor here in Diamond City, and I'll, uh, I'll just read it. The Colonial Tap House wants Please to stand by. You're a fucking hug. Initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. Activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Okay. Hold on, I'm coming home. Ba -doo -doo -doo. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Can you hear me? Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. 
This is messed up. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. I'm just going across here because I don't know what I'm doing. This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. Try that one. You'll see. But we don't know anybody here. And now. Whatever made me think that a guy like me should have a daughter? No, I, I never deserved her. Not for one second. With the baby? Come on, Sarah. You've got to give it a chance. I finally got steady work. Whoa. Good he Nothing used to have hair. What? WTF? Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. Okay. This, th this stuff looks like you're on drugs. Like, full hard on cocaine. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. I found another memory to try. I'll connect it. Here we go. Tables. So wash out my shed. Mind if we sit down? Suit yourself. There was always a job for someone like me. Didn't matter what it was. Didn't matter who I was supposed to kill. I got pretty good at it. So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Yeah, no one cares about that. Um, well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. Okay. I'm glad you decided to meet with me. So, you're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. We do, as you can see. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I can see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation. Yeah, okay. Getting warmer. One of these has got to Oh, you're something. getting warmer, you are. We're running out of He breeze. just is, really, isn't he? Uh, Go. Ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Manual override initiated. Cryogenic stasis suspended. Vault computers are still working. That's good. Checking through the logs. Whoa, that was me, oh, fam. All... Find it. Pod C6. Down the hall near the end. I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. I'm not saying I haven't done it, but, uh, I never liked to. And yeah, I guess it did remind me of, uh, her. Yeah, I'm a cold-hearted bastard for sure, but, uh, I'm still human. Yeah, that's Better totally how you out. carry your gun, isn't it? Better than taking her kid and leaving her alive.
I was now the Institute's main operator in the Commonwealth. If they needed something done, they came to me. It wasn't usual for anybody from the Institute to come along on a mission, so this one stood out. I didn't know then who it was we were grabbing from the vault. Of course, neither did they. Not really. Yes, we can carry on. Found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. Is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory. So, good news, I think. Wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid, like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. Mm. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It'd be back to normal business before too long. Wanna do some business? No. So here. Kellogg. It's okay. One of these days you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Wait, no you're not me. I'm, I'm okay. the father, mate. You can go suck a dick. You, mate. It's okay, it's okay, Sean. I know you're a bloody midget. Kids aren't supposed to be that small. Swear to God he had dwarfism. Ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Bye. <laughs> Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. I just found out a lot of things. <coughs> Kellogg was an alright guy. He took care of my son. Yeah. Can't say. Took better care than I did. I don't know what kind of side effects the procedure might have had. No one's ever done this before. How do you feel? Fine. I'm okay, doctor. Thank you. That's good. But I want you to keep monitoring yourself. We have to be sure there's no long-term damage. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? We got what we needed. The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. Yes. Their greatest secret has finally been revealed. But that only leads to more questions. How does it work? Where do we go next? 
that scientist Kellogg was.